Hi, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2021. And uh, this is kind of an update to a tutorial I did a few years ago. And this update is to deal with new changes Adobe has made to the program here. This is version 2021. And unfortunately, the changes Adobe made to this feature only made it worse. We have some slides here on the timeline. These are um, just still photos. Each one is five seconds by default, which is a nice speed for a photo slideshow. If we click on one of those photos, say this photo here of these two women and this one man, and we go over here to the toolbar on the right and select tools, and from there select pan and zoom, the program by default will automatically create what it calls face focus frames. In other words, it will identify the faces in the photo and it will create a pan and zoom from face to face to face. Now notice how this photo shows the dog, it shows the houses in the background, it shows the whole neighborhood. Here's what that automatic pan and zoom looks like. I'm gonna click the preview button in the lower right hand corner. Close up of woman's face, close up of woman's face, sits there for a second on each face. Close up of man's face. That is your pan and zoom. That is lousy. And not only that, but look what happened here. We've got a five second pan from each face to each face with a one second pause at each face. Add that all up. I'm gonna click the done button and look what you get. Your five second slide on your slideshow is now 13 seconds long and it looks terrible. Let me show you how to override that and um, unfortunately you can't completely turn it off anymore, but I'll show you what you can do about it. I'm gonna control Z or command Z here a couple of times to get rid of what was there and get it back to where it was. So, okay, we select the slide on the timeline, go over again to the toolbar, open up the tools, open up pan and zoom. And here we are with a face focus frames applied. If you go down to the lower left hand corner, we can change the settings somewhat. At least we can get rid of that pause at each face. So I'm going to go down to settings, click on that, change hold time here from 29 frames, which is about one second to zero. We'll leave this uh, pan time at 429. That's five seconds. Uh, that won't change the length of our still photo. Click OK. And now we still have this 13 seconds here that was applied to the photo. Go to the lower left hand corner and click the reset button. That gets rid of all of that. Now we just have again our five second photo and we can create our own pan and zoom. To do that, we just make sure the playhead is at the beginning of that timeline. Click add new frame. We can size the frame to wherever we want. Say a close up of these two women. Move the playhead to the end of that timeline create a new frame and we can size that frame to as much of the photo as we can. Now this tool has a number of limitations, including the fact that you can't make the frame wider than your photo. And the frame is always going to have this aspect ratio of a 16 by nine video frame. So you still can't get the entire picture. That's why I prefer to do pans and zooms manually using keyframing. But if you want to use this tool, this is the best way to use it. Now we've created a five second pan and zoom that let's look at the preview. I just pulled the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline, click the preview, and now at least it makes sense. It's a close up of the people panning back to show the entire scene. Okay, so what's our challenge here? I'm gonna cancel that rather than keep that. The settings will remain even though the pan and zoom won't be applied to the photo. Click no here, I'm not gonna save it. You notice we still have our five second picture here on the timeline. But when it's selected, and again, I open up that tool, you notice that even though we haven't got that hang time in there, we got rid of that, we still have a pan from face to face to face, and we have a 10 second long, this picture is gonna be 10 seconds long again, with a pan from face to face to face. So every time you want to use this tool, even if you change those settings, you're gonna to have to go to the lower left-hand corner and click the reset button start it all over and do it manually. That's an extra couple of clicks you have to do. That's the only way around it. There used to be a way you could turn this off in preferences. You can no longer do that in current versions of the program. So in modifying it, Adobe just made it worse. Anyway, you can create your own pan and zoom here if you'd like. 
Once you click done, go on back to the timeline and your pan and zoom will be applied. Anyway, if you know, want to know more about this program, be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. You want to know everything about this program and how to use and how to get around some of the issues with some of the tools in the program. Check out the very concise moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grusetti. I wrote the book and I hope to see you at moviepicks.